Hello everyone. In this tutorial, I will discuss the logical operators of the PHP programming language. We have the AND operator, the OR operator, the ZOR operator, and the NOT operator. However, in this video, I will only explain the AND operator so that we will have a shorter video about this topic. But before that, please support this channel by clicking on the subscribe button and hit also the notification bell so that you will be notified with all the new videos that I'm going to upload in this channel. And so like I said a while ago, I will only explain here the end operator of the PHP programming language and uh, this operator or the end operator can be used in multiple conditions or if you would like to test multiple conditions using the if statement now basically this will give you a true result if all the conditions are true okay that's the purpose of the end operator when one of these conditions is false then the result will always be false so you have many conditions only one condition is false then the result is false when all the conditions are true then the result is always true so that's how it works so like i said we can use this end operator in the if statement so for instance we have an example here anything can happen here in line 13 14 15 or before 16 so before 16 anything can happen here any variables can be tested so assuming you have program here before 16 so in this case to make it more simple only so we have here in line 14 these variables with their values and so in line 16 let us use the if statement together with the logical operator and okay so you can use and something like this which is inside your condition it's part of the condition so as you can see here we have dollar a which is 10 and is it equal equal to dollar d which is also 10 so 10 equal equal 10 basically it's like that so the answer here will be something like true and b which is 20 less than equal 10 because dollar a is 10 so 20 less than equal 10 the answer here will definitely be false so something like that so true and false is false because like i said a while ago when we are using and all conditions this is your first condition here and this is your second condition here so all conditions should be true so that the answer is true if any one of the condition is false then the answer is false already so this is true and false the answer is false so something like that okay so all should be true so therefore when we run this it should go here because this condition here is false so it will go here again for you to understand how to use the if statement I have a video here wherein it discussed the if statement so if you are new to the if statement you better watch this video so that you will have a better understanding of the if statement and so let's go back to our topic let's try to run this one like I said this one is false the result of this is false so it should go here so I'm going to run it now So I put it in a folder called examples, PHP examples. So let's try to run it. There you go. So as you can see, false part was printed. Okay, of course you can put anything here. You just have to place open and close curly bracket. So again, because I am only having one statement here, so I can just omit the curly brackets. But if I want to put also the curly brackets, it's also possible. So something like this so if it is true then it will execute this so there you go here 
So it executed line 19, 20, and 21 because this condition here is false. Okay, so that's how it is. And so let's try to make it true. So this one is true. Let's make the second condition as true. For example, dollar $B is greater than, let's see that one. Dollar $B greater than equal dollar $A. Dollar $B is 20, dollar $A is 10. So 20 greater than or equal 10. Definitely that is true now. So true and true is true. So if it is true, this condition is true now. So it will execute this one here. So I'm going to save. Let us try to run. There you go. So it went here. And so the idea again is that all conditions. So these are your conditions. First condition, second condition. All conditions should be true so that the result is true. In general, as a whole, this will become true. And so it will execute that one. So no matter how many conditions you will have, the same principle will apply. All conditions should be true so that the answer is true. If any one of the condition is false, then the result is false. So for example, let's have another one here. And so let's say I'm just going to uh, let's say dollar C less than equal dollar A. Let's see if it is true or false. Dollar C is five less than equal dollar A. Well, that is true. So again, this is true. This this one is true again. So true and true and true these are the conditions you have three conditions so definitely it will print this part here true part here so i'm going to refresh there you go but if i will make it this one as something like this then this should be false a which is 10 less than equal dollar c which is 5 so definitely this is false now because the value of a is 10 the value of c is 5 so 10 less than equal 5, that's false. And so let us try to run. There you go. It went to the false part. Okay. So whatever condition. So for example, let's have another one here. A equal equal C. Dollar C. That means false also. So true and true and false. You only have one false. So even if you have only one false, it will go to the else part. And so when we run now, there you go. Still, it goes here. Okay. So, but if I will say not equal C, A, which is 10, and C is 5, A not equal C, that's true. Because they are not equal. So true and true and true again here. So that means it will go here. And it will not go here. Alright, so I'm going to save. I'm going to run. There you go. That's the true part. So the true part here, those words were printed because of this condition which is true. All these conditions are true. And so, also by the way, you can, you can use the ampersand, 2 ampersand, which is the same with and operator because 2 ampersand means and also so the shortcut of the end is ampersand double ampersand character or characters will give you an end operator and so if I will refresh same result will give you so this is how you will use the end operator using the if statement you can also use this end operator on loop statements i hope you have learned something new in this tutorial video thank you very much for watching and see you on my next one